Hi, everyone. Welcome to Stogie Geeks News for December 17th, 2015. Will Cooper's on the lines via Skype. Welcome, Will. Hey, Paul. What's going on in the cigar world this week, Will? Well, we have a couple of uh, cigar items. Um, we'll hit first, and then we'll hit another item of, of, of that should be of interest to enthusiasts. So, you know, we're getting to the end of the year, and there's a couple of staples that tend to come out this time of the year um, that cigar enthusiasts have looked forward to. The first one's an, an, an what's become an annual release since 2008, and that's the uh, the new Oliva Serie V Maduro. And technically, it's the Maduro Especial. So there's the 2015 edition that's come out. Um, this year's edition is um, it kind of features the same blend that's been in place since 2010. So it's the sixth year it has that San Andreas Mexican wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and filler. Um, like last year, they're bringing it back in the double Toro size, which is a 6 by 60 so that has already just hit the stores. I don't know about you, but I've kind of since I've really liked those those early Oliva Maduros that we use in the Broadleaf and the Habano. Um, since the Mexicans come on, I, I, it hasn't been the same in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, we did a whole show on the Oliva Maduro Specials um, a while ago. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll smoke the new ones that come out, but yeah, the, I I feel like they're getting a little less buzz now. Yeah, but I think, you know, they went with a 60, and they, they tend, it seems like they go two years on, and then they switch, for the most part, with the size. So, they, next year, unless they, they, they haven't gone three years in a row with a size, so next year, I, there may be something to look forward to with it as well. Yeah, I think but they, they need to get back to the Torpedo, because they do a great job in the Torpedo size. That, that Torpedo, yeah, mm -hmm. was, you know, you go back, I think the Torpedo was the, uh, it was the 9. Yeah. It, had that, it had that Habano wrapper, Maduro wrapper on it, and I think that's one of the epic ones that has come into that, um, that series. So, um, you know. Well, well are you going to talk about uh, Fuente's releases this holiday season? Um, I, we could talk about it. Okay, so, uh, because it, I have a Christmas gift for you. Um, which I'm going to send you. I found some Opus X. It's called the Oro Oscuro, and it comes in that big yellow box. Oh, my goodness. And there's four, uh, four or five different sizes in there, all ranging from you know around the $20 price range. Yeah, I, I bought a whole bunch. By the way, wow! You know, I've been, <laughs> I've been wanting, wow! I've been wanting to get my hands on those. I could not get my hands on them down here. I, I pulled a little selection, and then I negotiated with the store owner, and I bought basically the rest that was there for us to uh, to smoke and review. So I haven't smoked them yet. I've been letting them rest for a little while. I'm going to mail some to you, Will. So, but that is a release that I did see at our, our local retailers uh, and some online retailers as well. Is that that um, uh, yellow box Opus X Oro Oscuro? Um, which uh, it's a Rosado Oscuro wrapper. Um, I'm looking at a review from the CigarAuthority.com from uh, uh, from Barry. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's like I said that uh, that was definitely like I said I haven't seen them down here. I mean, obviously we talked about we picked up the Destiny La Siglo, mm -hmm. um, which in my opinion may have been the best Fuente to be released this year. So um, excellent cigar. Yeah, so I'm curious to see what, what this does in the, um, yeah, it's five different sizes, 15 cigars in total. Uh, Perfection X number four, Robusto, Fuente Fuente, Perfection X, and Reserva de Chateau sizes, but in the Oscuro wrapper. Yep, so which, we'll which see how these smoke. I can't wait, yeah. Uh, so what else in the news? Um, so this is not an annual release. It's kind of like a biannual release. But uh, La Flor Dominicana has um, released the small batch number six this year, um, which is basically what they do with that is it's a uh, Dominican Puro. Um, all the tobaccos are from a single vintage, uh, from a single farm. Uh, this year it uses a 2009 vintage featuring a Dominican Pelo de Oro wrapper. Um, and this one is a six and three quarter by 52. Um, it comes in boxes of 105. Yeah, um, big cases. Big cases. It's a big hit on the retailer. Um, there's actually a little, little known fact. This is actually the seventh um, Interesting. small batch because uh, small batch four had a, had a uh, natural and an oscuro. Hmm. So, but, you know, Ken, I think since they've always been really good cigars, the small batches. I haven't yes. smoked the six yet. When you get to the two and the three were very, very tough to um, top mm -hmm. right now. I agree. Yep. What else, Will? Um, so 
in Washington, D.C., um, just kind of, and folks probably have heard this whole story, um, last week uh, the, the Congress was working on the appropriations budget. Um, and basically what that is, that's the federal budget to fund federal programs. So one thing that falls under the federal jurisdiction is uh, our friends at the FDA who are basically trying to, reg- you know, they want to regulate us. They intend mm-hmm. to regulate us, but they need funding to do it. So in the appropriations bill, I guess word got out last week um, that there was language in there that would basically call for cigars to be exempted. Um, and it unfortunately did not make it into the appropriate that, – that language did not make it in there. Um, so what, and, basically what that means is FDA got funding or is getting funding to regulate cigars. Yes, but here and here's why it was a you know, and I was on Dave Burke's cigar jukebox show and mm-hmm. I thought it was a vulnerable thing to begin with. And here's why, because the regulations have something instituted in there called a user fee. And that's this fee that the tobacco company is gonna have to pay to basically get their blends inspected. So if you read the appropriations, I actually read the language of this. Mm-hmm. The language has basically saying that these regulations are going to be covered by the user fees, and there's, there's some crazy numbers in there. So this was a very vulnerable thing to begin with. I mean, I heard from Steve Saka this was, a, this was going to be a, a long shot to begin with that it would make it in, but unfortunately it made something very – it made it very swappable in there. Silver lining on this, they blew – everyone blew up the phones. Um, I, I, I had trouble getting through to them, um, but mm-hmm. they blew up uh, Kevin McCarthy, who's the House Majority Leader, and Paul Ryan's – uh, the House speakers' phones, mm-hmm. and it was actually there were comments back from the Kevin McCarthy camp that they knew every time the phone rang they knew it was the cigar industry. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it didn't make it in, and this is a small. Unfortunately, this is I'm not trying to knock this, but it's a small item on a trillion dollar budget. Mm-hmm. You got to remember that. So I don't know if this is something maybe the cigar industry can do do a lessons learned going forward, but it, it, it does show we can mobilize to some extent. Now we just gotta we gotta make the first down, so to speak. Right, right. Yeah, so it's kind of a small loss for us in it the was a, er, ongoing battle. Yeah, it's right now it's back with uh, the, um, the Office of Management and Budget is reviewing this. They are going to come back with feedback, mm-hmm. um, and that's where this is going to stand right now. So it's unfortunately a little bit of a coal in the stocking for a lot of cigar enthusiasts at the end of the year. Right. Well, we got to continue to fight. All the more reason to join the CRA, Cigar Rights of America. So make sure you do that. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, thanks so much, Will. Thank you. We will uh, record, of course, the Stogie Geek Show every Thursday night, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Actually, the last show of the year will be recorded tonight on December 17th, and we'll start back up in January. But we've got lots of content that will be trickling out over the holiday break, so make sure you check out stogiegeeks.com and cigar-coop.com. Thanks, everyone, for watching.